what my best recommendation to you on this one would be to simplify this. x minus 3 squared, I could probably expand that, right? Because you could replace, because the thing is, we have a y squared, but we don't have an x squared, right? And if we had y squared and x squared, we know that would equal r squared. And you could replace y with that, but then we'd have this x, and then you're squaring it, and you're in cosine squared, and I'm just seeing my brain, I'm like, that's just going to be too crazy. So why don't we just expand this, get rid of this parentheses. So if I do that, expanding a binomial, x minus 3 times x minus 3, it's not x squared plus 9. You, multi you apply FOIL. And what we get is x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared equals 9. Would everybody agree with me with my expanding? Well, then I can rewrite this x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 9. That equals r squared minus x equals um, r cosine of theta minus 9 minus 9 equals 0. And for our purposes, yes? When does the x minus 3 get cancelled? Huh? x minus 3 cancelled. Okay. Um, now, we could still solve this for r if we subtracted a 6r cosine of theta. Therefore, we'd have an r squared equals uh, 6r cosine of theta. I'll accept it as that. But if you divided a r on both sides, you'd have r equals 6. Oops. Yeah, r equals 6 um, cosine of theta. That'd be fully simplified. Huh? Either answer would be fine, though. I'll, yeah, I'll, I mean, 